and welcome everybody here in a Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mo Mir. That's right, we have a special event that we're going to be starting the stream off with today. We're going to be doing this uh, part one of the Ravnica storyline uh, special event it's called Ravnica at War Mo Mir, as you can see there. Uh, this is like a weekly thing on Arena that there will be different uh, different parts for you to play and win some cool stuff. So far, um, as you can see, I've gotten five wins so far. And we've gotten the Vraska Swarms Eminence uh, Glass Style. And if we continue to get some more wins, when we get to nine, we'll get uh, Glass Style for Tabalt. And then at 15 wins, we'll get a Glass Style for Jace. So this is just kind of a fun event that we're going to go ahead and try playing some. You don't. There's no entry fee. And you don't lose anything if you lose. It's just whenever you get to this required number of wins, you just get some prizes. Um, so how Momir works is you get this emblem. Both players get an emblem that say, pay X, discard any card, and create a token that's a copy of any random creature card that has that CMC, has CMC of X. You can only do it once a turn and only at sorcery speed. So these games are kind of are kind of crazy. Uh, we just have a, a deck filled with basic lands and some planeswalkers as well to, to spice it up. And so we're going to have just like some some fun games or where we're going to get some random creatures and kind of see what happens. Um, yeah, what you learned is never mulligan. Yeah, correct. Yes, uh, this this format. Yes, you should not mulligan. The only reason why you could ever mulligan in this format would be if for some reason you don't have lands in your hand and you just have a whole bunch of planeswalkers. So let's give it a try. So we both have like the same deck, 96 cards. Uh, so you have um, 60 lands and then 36 planeswalkers. You get one copy of each planeswalkers. And so 60 divided by 5, I guess that's 12. So we get 12 of each basic as well. Thanks, Rex. And of course we're keeping. I like Sahili in this format. It's a good turn three play that's you know not just like making a creature. This hand's, this hand's pretty good, honestly. You always played on two if you had a good turn three Planeswalker. I don't really plan on doing that. I don't think making two drops is very important. The only reason why, the only way I'm going to do that is if my opponent makes a two drop on their turn and I'm on the draw here, you know, with, with me being on the draw. <laughs> hey, Balding Yeti. What Elf, hey, good evening. I'm doing really good. Yeah, Jace is... Yeah, if we can resolve Jace, that's going to be awesome. Wow, already making a one drop? All right, and we will be able to resolve Jace. We have three... We have draw a third blue source. That's aggressive. All right. Well, we will be go ahead. We will go ahead and make a two drop with our opponent being aggressive like this. Hmm. Definitely want to hit our land drops, but I think I'm gonna. Gonna get rid of Narset. Narset can, of course, minus and find more things, but you can see that either Narset or Mountain. <laughs> Persistent petitioners. Not so great. They're just gonna make another one drop. Pretty confident we're gonna be able to win this. Feeling pretty good about this. We 
just have to get good defensive creatures. Is it better just to cast a Healy than get a 3-drop? No. <laughs> I've had good success with Sahili. I've played Sahili in two other games. Two of the five games I've played, I've had Sahili and played and had good success with it. Dreamcaller Siren. That's a good four drop. And 3-3. Three, three. Um, three, three is a, a, a bad number for us with having Wanderer. But that's okay. Yeah, I'm just going to be making creatures, I guess. Light Phoenix. Oh no, I don't have Deck Master up. Thank you. Two five unblockable. It's pretty nice. Guess I'm milling them. I don't really see the point in milling ourselves. Maybe we get rid of you know, whatever planeswalker is from them. Whenever you cast a historic spell. All right, so it's a 5-4 with no text. Oh, wait, they can cast plain, Planeswalkers. Never mind. All right, what does it say? It say B if you do return it from your graveyard to your hand. All right, it does have no text. Deserve. Let's think this So if I play Wanderer, I get rid of the 5-4, and then they can either kill Jace or Wanderer, but they can't do both. Could just get a 6-drop. I think that's better than a random six drop. 
most likely our six drop's going to be trading with that 5-4 anyway, so we get to trade and have the Wanderer in play. Hey, as an F. I think it's Defender, right? Not ideal. <clears throat> Seven mana, three, three. Does have double strike. So we can just trade with our two drop. Heretics will feel the bite of my blades. Yeah, G boy. Yeah, definitely. That could that could be a thing. Alright, so we'll just trade here. Yeah, so take the Golgari Planeswalkers and make it mono green. Will never be rewarded. Yeah, it could be. We're going to be trying a mono green deck with... Um, hmm. Yeah, the Samet. It's kind of annoying. We're going to be trying a mono green deck with... Um, New Karn and everything later on today. Verdant Force. Eight has been like the sweet spot that I found. Um, I really try to get to eight here with Momir. Ooh, Multani's nice. It's a good one. Hey, Techstar, doing good. Yeah, this Tron deck's going to be best of three, yes. Yeah, the Multani was a good one. That was good. I think I may be dead. I thought I was like winning this for sure, and then suddenly haste Multani. Apparitions come in many shapes. Yeah, looks like I'm dead. But they all look like a payday to me. I was trained for this. Hmm. This is just un unblockable. Yeah, nine spot for Zakama is definitely really good too. It's it's harder to get to nine than get to eight. Yeah, I thought I thought we had that. I guess I needed to play the Kaya the turn before and get rid of that unblockable creature. But then I guess we would have just died if I would have done that to that haste. Hmm. That was tough. No, I haven't had any Gates deck list after War of the Spark. Gates has been the archetype that was probably hit the hardest with just the introduction of introducing uh, introduction. Uh, I try to say introduce and introduction at the same time. Anyway, the introduction of War of the Spark to the format with the bevy of planeswalkers that are in the format. 
I don't know how many games of Momir I'll be playing. Sock Monkey, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I am sorry. I was just I was just talking and I didn't really I didn't see that. Did it make like the sound and everything? I, I just missed it. Targets that interest me. I've done things I'm not proud of. So as far as a Gates deck goes right now, I think if you would play a Gates deck, I think the, the most important thing to probably do is have a lot of mass manipulations right now. I think you can go like Gates strategy with a bunch of mass manipulations. The thing is, is that what Gates used to do well was be a big mana deck. 3-1 Flyer, that's a good hit. I wonder why they did four instead of five. Ooh. Speaking of good hits, get a three, four flyer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess I was talking about uh, Gates and what Gates ha used to do was be able to be the big mana deck of, of the format to be able to acquire mana a lot fast, like really fast. But now Nissa just does that more efficiently, and is a really strong card on its own. And so it's it's kind of hard to see like exactly what Gates is doing that's better than other things. I don't know what attacking with the three one accomplishes. Oh right, first first strike death touch. Oh well I shouldn't have blocked with that two two. Well I was just thinking about what, why is my my opponent attacking with a three one into a three four and forgot about that. So we're going to keep this 1-1 one, one from growing because I'm not blocking it. So they can Nahiri kill the Vampire Sovereign. Um, yeah, Gates is just really weak against control, honestly. That's just... There's not, not a ton to do about that. Like I said, like maybe some mass manipulations. Um, other way to go besides mass manipulations is Immortal go, Sun. I, and I would think that I would think you'd want to play either a lot of mass manipulations or a lot of Immortal Suns main deck in Gates right now. You brought this upon yourself. I killed Vraska because if I don't, then this assassin thing will just continue to grow. And didn't really want the assassin thing to grow. Siege worm. I don't think I'd play four mass manipulations main. 
I would play two or three, maybe have up to four in the 75, like the others in the sideboard. Um, but honestly, Immortal Sun may just be better than Mass Manipulation also. So I may want to think about just going towards... Um, yeah, like honestly, maybe just playing like three Immortal Sun main deck. Mono Red Burn for Popper. That's a good deck. Now, we are not lucky about being on the player draw. Or are we? I don't know. Maybe being on the draw is actually better in this format. We've been on the draw all three times. Got a, a 1 3 with reach. Sure. Ugin is awesome here. I'll have an Ugin. We're going to be ditching the Black Blade as our first card. We will write this story Waddles. together. All right, so it's a 3-3. Three, three. Now, it's bigger. Hmm. Whiffed. <clears throat> Unlucky. I definitely thought we were going to hit there with that bugler. We got pretty unlucky to miss. Oh yeah, Gideon's great if we have the mana. We don't have any white mana. What? Kefnet? That thing's huge. To seeing your mistake. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. Well, I guess we need to play the stove and to lock down this Kefnet. I don't think I want to Obnixilis and kill Kefnet and have them draw two cards. That seems kind of bad. You're not entirely incompetent. Yeah, feeling our opponent's hand in Momir is definitely a feel bad. Battlefield creatures control get plus one plus one and gain vigilance. All right. Reggie. When pursuing creativity. Defy convention. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to kill flyers right now. I don't think Nezahal is going to be good enough to beat control. 
think it's, it's pretty... I, I think it's too easy for Control to beat Nezahal. That card's good. Hey, Chronic Slayer. Like I said, I think I would just go with Immortal Sun against Control. I think that's your best bet. I uh, you could play. Yeah, just that in like Counter Magic. 7-7? Seven, seven? Creature so big. So do we want to make a Do we want to make a 7 drop? Or Wait, we have to attack? What is this crap? This is a rare? Is this even a card? I don't even think this was a card that was printed. Like is this What is this? I would, I would, uh, I think I would rather have Immortals on the Mass Manipulation. Basically, what I was saying is that you can, you can play one or, or the other. I don't think you want to play both Immortal Sun and uh, Mass Manipulation. Flying Trample Haste, if it would die, then you exile it. What are you talking about? Everything must attack. Am I not just attacking with everything? I'll attack. Can we not attack? What is going on? Yeah, we did. We're just taking lethal on the way back. Man, that thing was brutal. That's 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 Momir. Both of our losses were games I was fairly confident that we were going to be winning, but then just some random you know thing that just was like perfect for the scenario killing us. But hasty for you know the 14 13 haste creature with trample and then that thing that made us attack and just sacrifice our entire battlefield was that card even like where was that card printed I don't think that card was in like the regular set hey Maddie yeah I know it said it had the tw the 2019 core set symbol, but I don't think I don't think it was in like the normal set. I think it, I. Th yeah, it's a promo card. Yeah, I don't didn't recognize that card from the normal set at all. Okay. Proliferate could be nice. Not really with any of these things that we have, but with something else. There's in the gift pack 2019. Lame. I shouldn't print that card. Just forces you to attack. 
I don't like it. <laughs> of course, we could have also gotten it and then uh, it had our opponent force our opponent to attack into all of our creatures and I would have been like, this was a great card. Whoever decided to print this was super smart. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now and then. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. I think that's vigilance. I think Narset is better than Ugin. Like, maybe for mana cost-wise and everything. Are you talking about, like, in this format? Also? Ugin is one of the very best cards in this format. Let's add this battle to your record of bad decisions. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. I was raised by wolves. Though, they might have also just been hmm. big dogs. Could use a lot more planes. Takes white mana, white mana, white mana, white mana. So they have a 2-1 flyer. Usually a 1-1 flyer, I guess. That was a good one-drop hit. Does Enrage make a 4-4? I'm sorry, make a 1-1. One, one. It's a 4-4 four, four with Enrage, make a 1-1. One, one. I don't know that card, Mr. Nobody. The awareness of your imperfections is maddening. Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Wherever I go, people call me a death dealer, but I rarely offer discounts. Hmm. Still like to draw planes. Can maybe do something with this steadfast armosaur if we draw planes. Seven six. Uh, no, I would not side in Cinder Vines uh, against Control playing Gates. No, I would not. Because uh, yeah, for the most part, that's. All it's going to do is do a little bit of damage, but that kind of matchup's not really about that little bit of damage. You're just not a very aggressive deck. I'm just citing counter magic and planeswalker removal. Fighting here is more the big problem, of course, is the, is the three mana to fairy with the counter magic plan. That's a, a huge problem, of course, but. All right, well, at least we used, at least they used Domri's Mina. So with trading the Steadfast Armasaur before, I was kind of hoping like if we played like Kaya, got rid of Death Touch Creature, maybe the 7-6 would be able to attack in or something like that. It's my turn. That's a really good card to have. And just get you extra lands and everything. That's a really good one.
bad for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you Not too big on thing? enchantment removal and gates with the planeswalkers answering enchantment so easily with little Teferi, big Teferi. Them playing Mortify, which they're certainly doing all of those for your guild summits. I, I don't don't think that's a good option. Torgar. So whenever we attack, each player chooses a permanent they control and sacrifices it. And then... I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer flaws. Reveal the top card of the library, puts it onto the battlefield if it's a permanent. So what am I sacrificing? Because I'm pretty behind. I certainly need to attack here and get do this trigger. Oh, I I choose. For each player choose target. Oh, I thought I thought it was like they get to choose. Well that's pretty nice. That's better. We didn't hit. I was, you know, seeing if we would hit a black, you know, black or white for Kaya or black for this to be able to kill that thing. We did not. So that's why I uh, waited till afterwards. Yeah, I was hoping for black or, or white. Nahiri does not kill it. Nahiri only do, does damage to tapped creatures. So we're very close to dying with the Domri fight ability. Hey, what's up, Lega Zoe? We won't answer to other guilds. So convoke hexproof. Well, they didn't use Domery Fight, so boxes are made to be thought outside of. Uh, no, I have no plans to stream Gates this week. Hmm. So, I want to keep my lands. We're going to sacrifice the Sarkin and, sacri and I guess get rid of this Zephyr Grill. Because then they can't block, and so we'll get rid of the Zephyr Grill and the Domri. Is this a 
friend of mine. I'll still have time. Yeah, it doesn't always work out. Getting Omnixilis. It's kind of annoying. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Struggling? Good. Omnixilis um, could exile my Vivictus. What, what, whatever it was, does I Zephyr Grill? Whatever that card was. Yeah, Vivictus. Vivictus Asmati. What a cool card. Every <laughs> the way of knowledge is death. <laughs> Try not to think too hard. Hmm. Uh, that actually works out pretty good for them. Hey, DJ Hotness. That works out really well for them. Well, if they take if they attack out, I'm taking lethal. Yep, that's lethal. I can block two of the sevens, but then we take seven, and then Omnixilus kills us on our upkeep. That Omnixilus was a good hit. Unfortunately. Yeah, maybe I should have been attacking like their battlefield, like their creatures instead of the planeswalkers. But I thought we had enough defense there, but obviously the hitting the Obnixilis just killed one of my creatures. Killed my 5-5. Five five. That was rough. Let's see how we do here. Gavrielle could do some pretty decent work for us of just keeping their resources low, especially how they're on the play. So be I think to help Davriel, I think I do want to make a two drop. Um, I may just go Hey what's up, Coffee Master? Thanks for that resub there. I may go to Bolt first. Third sub of the day. So we'll just trade two drops. Especially with having a card like Davriel, we just want to trade resources, so that's good for us. The only thing to fear is mm. I adore. Good job, Dark Claw got to Mythic. Way to go. Yeah, this, this has been very mirror-ish. And yeah, I can check out your list. You're just fuel Ooh. for the That's... fires of free. Come on! Hmm. The more the Creatures mess. have menace now, so I can't block the one one. Little to the left next time. My friend is here to help your pain. 
So we're only going to be activating Davriel once, but we'll at least get rid of one of their cards. You know, that's going to be the only activation. Oh yeah, I should have played the planes there to keep this mirror thing going. <laughs> so I'm doing it like this, so if they minus Angrath again, Angrath's gone, and then their creatures don't have menace anymore. That's a card. Oh no. Gideon Jura, at your service. Hmm. That can be a problem. Your light will cleave the darkness. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. So we got six mana. I'm considering going Dovin plus make a three drop. No, let's just make a six drop. Why don't I just go Vraska? This creature deals damage to. Hmm, it doesn't though. Yeah, we need to just try to get like in the air or something. Hey, that's really good. That was really good. Wow. I tried wow, we were lucky. A blue creature that says ETB return a creature to its owner's hand. So we got to bounce their blocker. Also, it was a blue creature to pump up the Guardian to make it a 5-5 to be able to kill the Gideon. Wow, that was that was some luck. This this time we got we got some luck this time. Our opponents have been getting the luck before. That was us getting some luck. All right, three six ETB gain five life. Even worth it. Your best heart 
thinking fast. You're on your own. Getting all these blue creatures now. Alright, what does this thing do? Okay. Count the number one with counters on creatures you control. Alright, nothing. So it's a 6-6. Six, six. Alright, let's mill half of their library. So we milled over Vraska, Ral, Narset, Liliana, Kaya, Kasmina, Karn, Jang, Yangju. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Jace, Huatli, Dovin, Chandra, and Ajani. No, but not Ugin! Uh, Ugin was perfect. No, Ugin. Ghost fire. Holy Raptor. <laughs> All right, Ugin's gonna be a tough one to fight through. Uh, good news, they do have to like, you know, block both of these every turn because they are lethal. And like the po if the Polyraptor gets blocked but doesn't die, that'd be pretty nice. But you know, we get to just make more Polyraptors. 5-3. Alright, well I can kill the Polyraptor. Alright, looking for Jasath. <laughs> no, more Polyraptors. Yeah, why didn't they do that extra point of damage to Polyraptor, right? Why not? Boom. All right, GG. Up to seven wins. Two and three on the day with it, too. Hey, what's up, Nine Baller? Thanks for that resub there. Fourth sub of the day. Getting that hype in the channel. Let me update that. Four subs. Hey, Blue Jen, good afternoon. Swamp. Guess we could draw a Gideon next turn. Problems we don't have, we don't have like nickel bolus covered with a lot of black sources. If we would draw a nickel bolus, what? Diva sanity. That's messed up. Bet you've never been hugged by a kraken before. Turn three, Diva sanity, a Momir. What's the deal with that? Uh, sure. It's not bad. 
Light shall always conquer darkness. Ow. I hope they hit a bunch of lands. Let's get moving. Um... <laughs> three seven? Ugh. Three seven doesn't trigger Kiora. Doesn't even block Thief of Sandy or anything. Ugh. That was not a good five drop. Let's get this common crocodile. Pleasure is power. Enjoy yourself and live like a king. My assistants are painfully sloppy. <laughs> Yuck. So we could play Angrath and give the Crocodile Menace. Alright, yeah, J-Jack. We were not destined to fight. Sure can. Says if you could quickly let me know what you think of, of this deck, that'd be awesome. Yeah, no problem. been running well for me and it's a lot of fun and I hope you have fun playing it cool so what's uh, you have to send the deck list need that deck list Jack. all right more lands nature flows with vigor Help. Just another 3-6? We can't even trigger Kiora again. 3 power. And it still doesn't block the Eva Sanity. Alright, a Teamer, Ilharg, Thran Temporal Gateway deck. I came into being long so just trying to Ilharg in Galta. It does look pretty sweet. Beyond vision. I adore an audience. An Ugin? Or not being Ugin. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Common, common. I don't know what is going to save us here. But we'll see. Wow. So they must have hit three, three Planeswalkers because they took some Planeswalker over those other two. Ocean surges, life thrives. I could use that blue creature that bounces something. That'd be nice. But yeah, you never know if we'd hit like a haste creature or something. But yeah, that's unfortunate that Tibalt is actually wrecking us. We would have gained 12 life this game.
<laughs> yeah, won't won't pay eleven. The only companion I need. And they just activated Mo Mir one time, got a thief of sanity, and then have just been dropping all these planeswalkers, including because you know thieves gotten planeswalkers from my side that they've been See you, playing. Don't worry. I'll be quick. Ugh, thief's good. I feel like we're playing against like Esper Control or something over here. Turn three thief followed up by Planeswalker on four, five, six, and seven. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Yeah, there's there's no elevens in standard. J. Jack, do you want me to play that deck today? And galt to some people today? Or is there a different day you'd like me to play it? I love to make a splash. All right, well, we're dead to the Thief of Sanity. All right, two and four. A crazy format here. Yeah, I like the voice the voice lines with the planeswalkers too. I think that's a nice touch in the game. All right, so what do we call this deck? Maybe Teamer Ilharg. All right, Davriel's good. Is this any non-creature? Yeah. Two two life link. Teamer Ilharg. Yep, you're yep, you're correct there, Radical Guru. Alright, so it's just a two four. The abilities aren't gonna really do anything here in this format.
want to get a little bit more defense down for Davriel before we play it. I think I'm probably going to play Vraska next turn and then Davriel the following turn. Making them discard right now or making them discard later isn't that big of a deal with like how they'll they'll still have cards in two turns. You know, we don't want to wait forever for Davriel, but two turns they'll still have cards. Whoa, what is this? 7-3? Trample? That thing's pretty big. Yeah, it's going to die after it attacks or blocks. It shuffles it shovels back into the library. So once they attack with it, it's gone. But it can kill the Vraska, but obviously we still have the 1-1 one, one death touch around. So we trade our Vraska for that creature and keep a 1-1. One, one. So it basically trades with, you know, like one of the 1-1s. One, like if Vraska was going to make two 1-1s. One, Ooh, Teferi's nice. Right on schedule. Yeah, it's very, it's really nice. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Oh, I grow bored with this fight. It's a good card. And speaking of good cards, we begin. <laughs> Magnificent. I'll protect you. <laughs> I'm going to make you suffer. You better. Nobody's ready to die. That's why so mm. many stick around after they do. We're going to. Ooh, they didn't attack. They are coming. Surprisingly, they didn't attack. So we get to kill Kaya. A Am dragon I would rather die than lose. Dematerializing? Huh. You make this quick. I'm perish the thought. We'll get two Planeswalkers in here because of Sarkin. I don't love to vault in this metagame, especially in the late game like this. But I think it's worth it having... Because uh, we want to play Davriel, and we just get a double spell, and now we have more Planeswalkers for Sarkin to make creatures. Thanks, Janini. Haste and trample. I will consume you. Well, trample, we can't stop that. That's a good one. The more. Loneliness can hurt. I don't think we're ahead anymore. No, I, I think our opponent kind of has this because the, the Teferi gets to get rid of that and draw a card, and now they have eight mana, so they'll be making eight, eight drops like where I'm making seven drops.
Like eight drops are better than seven drops in general. I guess I cracked first. What a whiner. Hey, Ahmed. Oh, no. Andre's forerunners. That's just the, the game style that we have here is Momir, where you get to make a creature every turn with how much mana you spend. You could really use that, that blue bounce creature. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All I've left you is pain. Oh no, not Zatalpa. Oh, eight drops are so much better than seven drops. I think where I lost this was, was doing that, was playing Davriel and Tybalt. I think I should have just made a six drop. Um, and then been, I would have had another extra land for seven drops. I think that's where I lost this game. Was was playing those two. Struggling. The Davriel and Tibalt, uh were were certainly not worth it. Yeah, we got a blue bounce critter at seven before. It was like a five five flyer that bounced a creature also. I'm just dead. I have to make this block, otherwise I'm dead, but I'm, I'm still dead. No, just, just do seven. Come on. Yep. So that was the turn that I messed this up. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't thinking of Dream Eater. There's another one that we got also. Yeah, maybe I should have just just dropped the Davriel earlier and just not had the protection to to save Davriel and just take out a card. Just not worry about trying to protect Davriel for a turn cuz yeah, I, I did play it too late. Yeah, it's fun seeing all these different cards and everything in Momir. Yeah, I really like it with Demon Lord Bells unlock a few times. Ooh. Yeah, that's a great one to hit. We're playing Constructed after this. You can see the other decks we're playing today are all constructed. Just having some fun with a different format for a little bit.
There's there's no reason to get upset about losing games in Momir here. It's because there is a lot of ram randomness to it, and there is a lot you can't control. It's, but there are things you can, like that last game. I think I, I think I cost myself that last game with playing those planeswalkers when I did. There's a lot you can't control still. But there's no reason to really get upset. It's just it's just a for fun format. Like there's no entry fee, no um Ooh. Nothing like that. Yeah, there's no no sense to stress over this. Methylvin said played your version of Grixis Control this past weekend to great success. Top eight of a large tourney. Way to go, Methylvin. Way to go. Good job. Ooh. Oh no, Nissa. Oh gosh. Magnificent world. I felt really good about Chandra here of like, yeah, helping us hit a whole bunch of land drops and everything and ditch more cards. Rise, this Nissa though. Hmm. Not attacking Chandra. Interesting. I guess they don't want their Nissa to die. Watch it burn. Bleh. Awesome, Garion. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess he'll kind of see how I'm sideboarding and everything when I'm playing it in a little bit. Um, but nothing like tricky off the top of my head that I can think of with the Ban Arcbo deck there. Yeah, that is really good artwork. For just like that common angel, and it's true. Hey, thanks, Janini. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some more hype in the chat there. Sub number five on the day. Blah. Andre's forerunners again. It's unfortunate that we have to do that. I would have certainly preferred to kill the Nyssa. But we can't really have that 7-7 running around. Who are you to call me mad? 
Gonna be a tough one to beat too. The land shall conquer you. So do they see the lethal? Yeah, Zarkin's good. Are you ready? And that's lethal. Man, I thought we were gonna have this whenever we played the Chandra on the empty battlefield. But then Nissa into Endre's forerunners. Just too aggressive. Alright, we'll play one more. Yep. We're only one sub goal away from the next sub battle day. We will be playing Davriel here. See if our opponent makes a two drop or not. Hopefully no. Dang, they did. That's unfortunate. No. Three, come on. I was hoping they just wouldn't, and then we'd be able to slam Davriel. That's a good hit. Just three mana, three, three. That's, that's good. Just an arena-only card. Goblin Bruiser. Yeah, the sub-battle day is where I just play against subscribers all day. Uh, we just do... We pick like a random subscriber up uh, each round and have a lot of fun with it and everything. Good, evil, outside. Let's tidy up in there. You and two drop every game with this format? Null hide. That's a mythic. <sighs> hmm. Time to run again. It's not good. How am I being this null hide? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Model Green Tron got replaced by a donation deck. I'll update the title for that. Yeah, Kai can kill Nullhide. That is true. What is this thing? Whoa, Trapjaw Tyrant has an animation like that? That's cool. Oh, I like a good fight. 
notice it. <laughs> Being incorporeal is a great way to leave a dull party. <laughs> yeah, our opponents are hitting mythics tonight. That's how it's been. That's all right. Oh no. Well, it means that I can't double block this 5 5 and kill it anymore. So we just have to let that hit us. So otherwise, I'm double chump blocking. That doesn't make the most sense to double chump block. You better watch your back from here on out. Well, if I chump block, it, it gets rid of both of my creatures, because whenever Trapped All Ty Tyrant is dealt damage, then exiles another creature. So by chump, so we would have got, we would have exiled both the creatures. All right, so they got a Tishana, which has power and toughness equal to the number of cards in their hand, but they had zero cards in hand. But then it also draws cards equal to how many creatures you have in play. So they had three creatures, so they just got to draw three. I think that's first strike. Can I just race them? What if I just don't block? Go down to six. So Endraise Forerunners or Jasath. Torgar, that's a good one. I should kill him. That'll do. Because we were attacking for 14 there. Um, and you know, like the 2 2 couldn't block because of that triggered ability, so we had to do get something like that to do a little bit extra. All right, three and six. It's our record. So got eight wins now. So, yeah, Togar. Yeah, basically Togar, Jisath, uh, Andre's Forerunners. We had like there's a lot of eight drops that won us that game there. Um, it ends. Let's I think isn't that like a that's a thirty three percent win rate that we just had. We just won a third of them, three out of nine. Um but I think it ends on like Thursday, maybe Friday, but I think Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So I'll be playing this some more off stream, but wanted to to get this uh play a little bit on stream here. It's just a, a nice fun event, you know, if you you're gonna be losing uh some and that's okay. Um there. <laughs> now three and six is not 36 <laughs> percent i don't think that's how it works i don't think that's how math works um but yeah ho hope you all enjoyed it hope you all had some fun here with this and hope you're playing it on arena and having some fun with it as well you know don't just worry about your wins and losses so much with momir just have fun with it that's that's what it is it's just a fun uh format 
So there we go. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button over there. But that's it for part one of the Ravnica storyline, the Momir. And